Today we've got a lovely khaki green set for you. I love this colour, I really do. I'd forgotten about it actually, you know, with spring colours and summer and everything. Totally forgot about it and then I saw somebody doing a set and I thought, oh God, yeah, I love that colour. So I double de checked to see if I got it, if I still had some, and I did. So I was like, yes, get it out. So I'm coming in with fantasy, guys. And what I'm going to do is pick up my bead, pop it on and feather out that back. Make sure it's nice and blended. First thing I'm going to do, that gives the front time enough to set a little so that I can shape it. If I go to shape it and it's not quite set or starting to set, you'll find that the uh, acrylic will stick to your brush. But it's, as it starts to cure becomes hard um, then you know that's the best time to maneuver it into place before it gets hard leave it set then what I'm going to do is come in with that second bead because the front's near enough set now so I'm going to tuck it in swipe it down if you watch my video guys you know I do this all the time exactly the same it's just how I was taught it's how I work go from the middle tuck it in on the left pull the rest of that down and then check my side walls around that smile line to make sure that everything's still going to be in shape. I will come back and file that in later. This is going to be a colour block. So I'm going to go in with khaki. This beautiful green from CJP. I'm going to tuck it in around that cuticle area and pull that bead down. Just pull it forward, just, you know, a little bit. And then what you'll see me do is straighten off that edge straight across with my brush. I'm just going to pat that down, make sure I'm happy and then work on that small wall and make sure my colour block is going to be fan dabby dozy. Leaving that to set, I'm going to come over to the little finger. And I'm going to put some of that khaki down as a undercover for the glitter that I'm going to be using. I have got khaki from Sonia Williams going on first, followed by Earth by the Glitter Fair. So I'll put both of these on. I'm going to layer this nail. And then on the very tip, I'm going to put green shards from the Glitter Planet. I'm pulling them all out today, aren't I? Now, guys, I owe you an apology because I've got a new holder that holds the, the hand, the practice hand. It's a mobile phone holder. So I use one of those for to hold the practice hand that I'm using. Um, but it's got massive crack in it. And I noticed it the other day. I kept thinking my hand was flopping and... I don't know, it was maybe becoming a little bit heavy and the, you know, the little tightener had loosened a bit. Anyway, upon inspection, it's got a massive crack. So I don't know what's happened there. So I ordered a new one and I got one with a longer lead on it. Um, thinking instead of putting it on my desk to maybe give me a little bit more room, I could put it on the drawers at the side of me and with a long wire neck, have it coming over the desk so at first I'm thinking it's all you know all great got it all going on fabulous but I've come to edit it and I can't believe it it's like really close up and and low down so you get more of the hand and less of the nail so I do apologize I need to figure this out so yeah I need to seriously pay attention the issue i've got is that when i'm recording my phone is above my head i can't see what it's actually recording it's at this point forward 
that I'm noticing the error. Up to this point, it was okay. But with it being attached to my desk and reaching across, well, attached to my drawers rather, reaching across and coming over the desk, I'm thinking it's in the right spot. But it's obviously moving. And of course, cameras above me, I can't see that until I start to edit. So I am really sorry, guys. It, it's a little bit all over the place. I mean, at one point, I'm completely out of shot. So all I can do is apologise. I need to fix this. I need to sort it out. And um, I don't know quite what I'm going to do. But I will sort it out. I will. And then uh, maybe we'll get back to having some decent videos. On the next set of hands that I did after this, I actually brought back the old phone clamp, uh, which is the pink one. This one's black. And I... I like I said, I think what's happened is the the phone that I record on is above my head. I can't see it. I check it's in shot when I start, let it go till I finish, assuming it's all okay when obviously it isn't. Back to the nail, guys. Okay, so we're doing a marble. We are using Fantasy, Khaki and Clear. We put the beads on. We go whoosh, 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 up, down, up. Make sure our sides are all in. Make sure it's covered around that C curve. And then I go in with a little bit of that cocky glitter from Sonia Williams. Coming on back onto the pointer, we're going in with these green shards from the Glitter Planet. They're going to be underneath. Then I have some green shine... Um, strands and I'm going to get a few of those and in some clear acrylic I am going to hold them across the nail on top of these shards this is at the point where I start to it gets closer and closer and closer till I'm completely out of shot so I am so sorry guys I will get it fixed for the next video I promise So into a spot of clear acrylic, I'm going to hold those green shine strands across the nail on top of those micro shards from the Glitter Planet. I'm going to wait for that to set up a little bit, then I will leave that to set. Then what I do is I go and I file the smile line, then unfortunately I came in with the khaki green around the smile line and it was out of shot. Now I've managed to salvage some of that. Right, then I move on to the pointer finger and I'm going to come in with a small bead of wet clear acrylic and into that I am going to bring that khaki glitter from the glitter planet. I'm going to pop that on the tip of the pointer finger. Leaving that to set, I'm then going to come and clear cap this khaki green round this smile line. Then what I will do is go and clear cap the rest of these nails. I will then file and buff them into shape. Now guys, last week I offered a palette and I said comment, share and like and then we will pick a winner. Well, my daughter picked a winner and the winner of that nail palette is... Diane Adams. Diane, please DM me on either Facebook or Instagram and let's have your details, sweetie, and we'll get that off to you. Congratulations, Diane. Guys, we are at the end of the video. It's top corner time. So I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you all for watching. I will sort out the blips that we made today ready for the next video. Again, I can't apologise enough. Thank you for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed our little nail plate today. If you have, would you mind taking a moment, please, and hitting that thumbs up? Until next time, stay safe, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.